it might seem strange to look at a car powered by a 729 horsepower W12 engine and think of EVs, but that's what Bentley told us to do with the Batter, a limited edition coupe that was recently unveiled. Because, while the Batter is still powered by sweet, sweet hydrocarbons, we're told it showcases the design direction the British luxury mark plans to take when developing its first full F, which is expected to arrive in 2025. Underneath the all-new bodywork, the batter is based on the existing Continental GT's upholstery and mechanical package. A total of 18 will be built by Bentley's bespoke Mulliner division, and all have already been reserved by customers, none of whom appear to have deviated from the base price, which is around $2 million at current exchange rates. We're told that at least some of those customers already own examples of Mulliner's previous Conti-based limited edition. Roofless chimneys from 2020. Bentley was encouraged by Accelerator selling a further limited series of 12 cars. Use Batter more and more ultra-exclusive models are likely to follow. Like the chimneys, Batter is named after a natural body of water, in this case Lake Batter, a 290 feet deep crater lake in Kintamani on the Indonesian island of Bali. If you know it, give yourself a geography point. The muscular aesthetic is the work of a small team led by Bentley's newly arrived design director, Andreas Meint with a redesigned styling language that seeks to combine elegance and projection of power. What the company refers to as a resting wild stance. Imagine a lion or tiger lying low in long grass in an attack stance. While Batter's huge grille is a familiar detail from the existing Bentley, the new teardrop headlights are a radical departure for the brand, which is associated with large circular lights, with three powerful projector units and smaller apertures. Behind it, the batter's long hood is clear evidence that even all-electric Bentleys will retain the brand's distinctive cabin rear stance. The side profile is uncannily reminiscent of a muscle car, and the batter's rounded rear is softer and more organic than the more angular lines of the Continental GT. The only moving parts are the door mirrors, which contain too many sensors to make new ones economically viable for such a limited run. The cabin retains the Conti's basic dashboard architecture, as Bentley is unable to radically change safety-critical systems such as airbag deployment at such a limited distance. But, of course, it's finished with plusher and rarer materials, with buyers able to specify a virtually limitless range of colors and trim options including natural composite, described as a more durable alternative to carbon fiber. The fascia includes a laser-etched sound wave that reflects the sound of the W12. While much of the batter looks to the future, the 6.0-liter W12 is definitely part of Bentley's past. Even the official release admits that he has entered his twilight years and describes this version as his final development. A new intake system, upgraded turbochargers, and recalibration boosted the W12-powered Continental GT speeds output by 79 horsepower to 729 horsepower. The batter's chassis uses the W12 GT's combination of air springs, adjustable dampers, and a 48-volt electromechanical anti-roll system. It also comes standard with an electric torque converter rear differential, carbon ceramic brakes, and bespoke 22 inches wheels. It appears that several batter buyers made the trip to Monterey to watch their car launch and finalize the specification of their car, which will begin deliveries mid-next year. If you're kicking yourself for missing out, you might want to visit your local Bentley dealer and get on the list for the next limited run.